In their drive to address energy poverty in the Gambia, officials of the REPGAM project led by Professor Sidat Yafa embarked on a study tour in Burkina Faso in search for renewable energy solutions as the country works to achieve universal access to electricity by 2025. We were convinced that they would be a very good partner for the University of the Gambia. So that's why we've invited them uh, to come to the Gambia and see and meet with government officials and also to establish it as a business, as a company in the Gambia, so that they can provide their services to the Gambian population and also help the Gambia uh, achieving the universal access to energy by 2025, as put out there by the Gambia government energy roadmap. Aliot is a renewable energy firm in Burkina Faso who are committed to provide solar-powered system that adapts to African realities. And for REPGAM project, was an opportunity to enhance the country's potential in renewable energy, thus the welcoming of these investors who are on a consultation with relevant stakeholders. According to Christopher Tongri, president of Aliot, said digitalization of electricity, popularization of green urban mobility, and promoting universal access to energy are the vision for the Gambia. We developed two main products, the solar home system, uh, that's come with uh, all the appliances, TV, fan, lamps, and, uh, and um, torch radio, and can be used to charge a uh, uh, mobile phone. And it, we develop it for a rural area and a peri-urban area where people do not have access to any grid. After that, we have the second product uh, called Smart Solar Power System. It's a bigger one. Uh, we build it for um, industry, SME, and um, uh, people with um, middle income revenue in, uh, that live in the city. This is a company that relies on research and development, and UTG Waskal Partnership will support the development of right products for the citizenry. In our working relationship with Alu System, to develop uh, um, hardware and software where we can irrigate automated digital irrigation of uh, rice fields in this country so that we can attain food self-sufficiency within a sh very short period of time. I know they have started that in Burkina Faso, so that would be one of the top priorities of the University of the Gambia. For the Sanyang Principal Energy Officer at the Ministry of Petroleum and Energy and the Director of Human Resources, Pura Lamindabo, welcomed the initiative and commended Professor Yafa for supporting government's agenda. This is our African brothers. This is our African initiative. And it is us as Africans that can develop Africa. So we welcomed you. We thank you. And then the, be rest assured that on behalf of my permanent secretary, my director, and the honorable minister, you have given, you, we have given our blessing to it. It is the first company to establish pay-go solar solution. They are operating in Benin. Ivory Coast and Senegal are now working to go sub-regional. We want Gambia to be like a model for Aliot, for the other countries. So that means we will be very focused on what we will do here. Uh, we'll involve all the partners that are this morning around the table. Officials are hopeful that the meeting will pave an opportunity to visit more solar energy infrastructural development in the country as well as gather relevant data for a successful initiative. Usman Mane, GRTS.